شيطان رجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نوين الأربعين نوين الأهتكاف نوين الخلوة نوين العزلة نوين الرياضة نوين السلوك نوين الصيام الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد نوين الذكر نوين الختم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي الذي أولي الله عنه بعون الله وكون عونا لنا بالله Our way is the way of Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is the way of صحبة the way of companionship that's why his followers were called Ashab on Hujjat al-Wada' he had 124,000 Sahib Ashab Ashab al-Nabi Ridwan Allah alayhim ajma'in each one was given that honor by knowing and accepting Sayyidina Muhammad Anyone who met Sayyidina Muhammad gazed upon Sayyidina Muhammad and accepted him as Rasulullah became a companion, a sahib. And those Ashab Prophet within a short period of time يعني, the early ones met him in the early days of Islam, but many met him once, many, some met him a uh, short period of time, some spent a month with him, some a year. It was all kinds of uh, companions. But yet, Prophet ﷺ said, Ashabi kan nujum. My companions are like the stars. If you take any one of my companions as, as a guide, he will guide you to the right way. Why is that so important? It's not because they sat in school in class and he taught them ABC and Ulum al Aqail. It was even if you've met him once and you've reached the rank of say of of Sahib Nabi, Ashab al Nabi, you became a guide and a star for human beings, a role model. Why? Why no one is talking about this anymore, see? Because of the importance of that Prophet's presence was, was, was the transformation. You met him once and you didn't, you're transformed. You're no longer what you used to be before. If you accepted him with good manners, Your state became a different state. Your condition became a different condition. This is something that no one, no, no one now pays attention to. Who is your, who, who are you accompanying? In whose presence are you sitting? What people are, are you associating with? No one pays attention to this. We go out like blind bats into the world. And we take all kinds of people as our intimate friends and as so, and we don't realize the power of your likes and dislikes. Now everybody, uh, Facebook made, made the like, like, uh, no, your likes and dislikes are powerful tools. The human spirit what you attach your importance to, what you attach yourself to is very, very, very important. Your likes and dislikes dictate where you're going to be eternally. You like holy men, you like pious men, you like truthful, honest people, you like good character, you like uh, generosity. What do you like? You like money? You like big homes. You like uh, <laughs> this this hutam, hutam al dunya. This that even this will yabla, even this will disappear. Even this will disappear. Where were the people before us five hundred years and a thousand years? Where were their homes? Where were their palaces? Where were their furniture? How they find a peace that's 
safeguarded still. They clean it. They found a piece. They found a plate. What happened to them? We are Akhir Zaman people now. We are living in the end of times. Anyone doubts that this is the second age of ignorance Prophet ﷺ predicted? Anyone doubts that people, yes, their brains are full of much more information, but they, their understanding has diminished. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives wisdom to whom he likes. It's not something just you accumulate information. You meet so many people, they have big titles. But you sit and talk to them, their understanding is minimal. You have big professors with big titles, PhDs, and teaching in uh, Ivy League universities, and they're atheists. Their mind and information took them that there is no God. Is there any, any, any more st stupidity <laughs> excuse me, than that? I don't care what the titles are. <laughs> how much information you've had, how many certificates you've had. But it took you to where? To you are, your understanding is less than that of a donkey. Because donkey knows there is Allah. Everything in creation knows there is Allah. And everything follows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plans for them. This is the time we're living in. People, I believe in science. You believe in science? Science is going to save you from Corona? Vaccine is going to save you from Corona? Al-Qadr khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This hadith of Sayyidina Jibreel, when he came to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he asked him, what is Iman? He told him the six pillars of Iman. He said, destiny, good and bad, from Allah. Yuhi wa yumit. Allah. He is the one that gives life. He is the one that takes it. As he likes, when he likes, if he likes. You take a billion vaccines or a billion cancer treatment or whatever most technology. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to die in this instant, in this moment, you can have security guards. You can have whatever you like. You could hold yourself in a quarantined area and you're still going to die because you can't stop the angel of death. No one can. You are going to die. You're going to die, you're going to die. End of the story. We are Muslims. They have us singing now the song that if you don't take the, this medicine, you're going to die. And if you take it, you're going to live. What is this nonsense? Yes, we take. We are people of asbab. If, if we, uh, يعني, there is a, a known uh, uh, safe uh, medicine to take, and uh, you take it and you say Bismillah, but never believing that that's going to save you. Never. Because Shifa is from Allah. Who is Shafi? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You never believe. You take the vaccine. And you 100% believe if you take the vaccine that it is never going to save you if Allah chooses not to save you. This is Islam. And now uh, we are, uh, the way you see people talking, the way we, we Muslims are even re re regurgitating what, what we are digesting of information without mind. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. We are, I, I read a hadith and so that we don't take too long that tells us about this time. Prophet ﷺ said, إِذَا رَأَيْتَ شُحًّا مُطَعْ وَدُنْيَا مُؤْثَرَةً وَإِعْجَابُ كُلِّ ذِي رَأْيٍ بِرَأْيِهِ فَعَلَيْكَ بِخُوَيْصَةِ نَفْسِكَ صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم He said, if you, if you see, when you see 
صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه شحن مطاع شحن is not just stingy he's a depraved soul يعني a very very bad rotten human being شح doesn't like goodness for anyone if you find that those people شحن مطاع if you find them being obeyed and put on you know people following and and and, and I'll, I'll tell you now in in our societies who's who's on pedestals good people in general illa ma rahima rabbuk who are the role models for for people now rock stars football stars movie stars who is everybody's idol who are who are our kids are looking up to on the news who is giving and dispensing opinion what type of people are somebody sent me a video a person uh, who is running uh, medical programs for some vaccines uh, he was testifying in a court in a case I'm not saying we we're, we're advocating against or for but I'm saying that person who is doing all these vaccine some of those vaccine program at the end of it the guy asked him are you atheist he says yes I am atheist and I'm anti-religion these are the people now that are running things for the most part and we Muslims don't ask who is it it's very important who you take your anything from your medicine from who you take your religion from you have to trust people you can't just take anybody comes on the TV and tells you this is the reality and you follow people want the best doctors when when they have a problem no they want to they want the best surgeon the best doctors they want somebody who is vouched for that people know him they want a good person when they're doing business they want an honest person you have to look for who you're doing who you're associating yourself with when it comes to religion it's much more important who you're learning your faith from in the al it's inside a muslim in the beginning this this is your akhirah your faith is your akhirah you have to learn so it is very important this is something inshallah to know that that we have to know and surround ourselves with trustworthy people and listen to those seek the advice of trustworthy people in all matters not just because I have a title, a professor, we believe in science. Let science take you to Jannah, inshallah. Let science prevent the angel of death from coming to you. You believe in science, you believe in Allah. And science is just a tool. It's just a sabab. And that sabab, if Allah wants, can be your health and can also be your disease. You may, through science, become more diseased. Even now there are claims that are being investigated that this virus particularly was created by science. They took two, two viruses and they put them together to infect human beings. This is science too. Science also made the nuclear bomb. I believe in science. I believe in the iPhone. Who say I believe in Allah? All this will disappear. Everything will disappear. Masi Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding, Ya Rabbi, and grant us real faith, real iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to be steadfast until we leave dunya without being cheated, without being cheated by our egos, without being cheated by devils, shayateen. Now the world is full of shayateen. What Prophet ﷺ said, shuhan muta'. Depraved human beings. Walking devils. 
وَدُنْيَا مُؤْثَرَ And when you see everybody is attention and love for dunya exceeding every other thing. You see people from morning to evening like rats, like mice, running, 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 running for what? We need, we, you have enough to live? Alhamdulillah. I need a bigger house. I don't like this house. I need more uh, property. I need to buy a better car. I need... And Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, already said to us, he says, nothing will fill the eyes of son of Adam except when they put him in the ground and they put uh, dust on him, that will fill his eyes. He says, nothing else will fill his eyes. Nothing you can accumulate will fill your eyes. No amount of money will satisfy your ego. No nice home will satisfy your ego. Nothing will satisfy your nafs. So rein it in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the last one, وَإِعْجَابُ كُلِّ ثِي رَأِيٍ بِرَأِيٍ And then the last sign of this time we live, the Prophet says, this is when you see everybody is so happy with their opinion. Yani their opinion as if revelation. I thought, and I, 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 I thought, yeah, you're an expert in this? No. You find people now experts in everything, mashallah. No? Any topic you talk, everyone has an opinion. Even if they've heard it once on CNN or Fox News or social media, they're automatically experts. I heard it once, therefore it must be true. I heard it. We have to be careful. And Prophet ﷺ says, بِحَسْبِ الْمَرْءِ مِنَ الْكَذِبِ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي It's enough. If it's, it's enough for a person to be a liar to, by just repeating everything he or she hears. Because when you repeat everything you hear, have one, some of it is true, some of it is not so true, some of it is lies. So you end up by re just repeating what you hear, you become a liar. May Allah forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Grant us to be with good ones in dunya and grant us to be with them in akhirah. Wa minallahi tawfiq bi hurmatil habib bi hurmatil fatiha.